And we're back to Mass Effect 3, Dark and Ram, yeah. now charged with saving the galaxy from the fucking Reapers themselves. Hello! Uh, don't I ever get any easy jobs? <laughs> what? Commander Shepard? <laughs> Alright, so I let's see. Let's see what mail we have. Oh god, that's a lot of mail. That is indeed quite a lot of mail. Let's see. Emergency fleet operates. Basically all this is is a emergency message from Alliance Command saying, Oh fuck, we're fucked. Don't go to Earth. Go to oh, go shit. go to pre go to pre pre uh, determined rally points. <clears throat> yeah. This, this is just a formal acknowledgement of b being reinstated by Anderson. Makes sense. This is the N7 N7 Defender armor. Nothing important. <clears throat> this is basically saying. Uh, there are special missions every here and there. Of course. This. Oh my. Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime. We know that planet. It's where it all yeah. started. And is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. Again. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. That's never easy That's around here. Of course. And command. This is basically saying we've lost, uh, uh, due, due to casualties, we're having to reorganize command. Makes sense. Uh, and we are actually on, on our own in the chain of command. <laughs> Normandy well, spectra operations. Yeah, so we're just out on... Yeah, we are our own chain of command. Yeah. Makes uh, sense, we are still a specter in Yeah, as, a, as is the Earth Resistance. Yeah, that's the way I think of their side, it's like, as per specter... Reg. As a specter in Alliance regs, Normandy is authorized to operate under its own command. Yeah, we do yeah. what we want. Yep. Yeah, in Special Warfare, Special Operations Brigade. Which is basically the multiplayer division. Uh. Uh, and yeah, a whole bunch of other unimportant stuff. More stuff. Task Force Aurora, huh? We'll be seeing uh, that name uh, later, Bryson. Mm. Oh, Dr. Garrett Bryson? Mm -hmm. Alliance Intelligence Services. <coughs> what is this? For your reinstatement, you've been, in Admiral Hackett's instructions, you've been granted access to Alliance Intelligence Services database. The database frequently updated with reports on major battles, conflicts, and other useful intel. You've been cleared to security Cobalt 9, these documents for your eyes only. Okay, so it's stuff we can get into Codex that basically tells us how, how the war is going. Fair enough. <laughs> I think we read this already. People wondering what the hell are the Corians up to. Uh, yeah. Lieutenant Cortez, delivery marked personal. Commander, while we were docked at the Citadel, we received a large case marked for your personal attention. I scanned it and it looked like it contains a lot of high-end weaponry. ED reassures me it was stored by members of your former crew, but I still need your authorization. Let me know if you want to allow it on board and I'll move it to the armory. Yes! And you're probably also if wondering who the fuck it. is... Yeah, you're probably wondering who the fuck is Steven Cortez. Yes. We'll get to him. Okay. ED, letting us know the Valkyrie rifle has been added to the arsenal, along with the Argus. Nice. A welcome back message that, uh, giving us the N7 hoodie. While we were uh, in dry dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand, should you be reinstated as commanding officer. As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers, he suggested. <laughs> I chose something from the Official Systems Alliance catalog. Soldiers who have had an in sewing designation for five years or more are entitled to a commemorative hooded jacket to wear on off-duty hours. You will find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. Because of course yes. Joker would. Oh, of course he would. <laughs> Lieutenant D. Eugene, whoever that is. Hmm. Your VI, ED, VI, put in a request for me to... Uh, 
from request to me for a handful of N7 grade weapons. Happy to oblige. I led the engineers who retrofitted Normandy when it was turned over to the Alliance. Edie kept me company when we were overhauling Normandy's interior. She's a beautiful ship commander. I'll miss working on her. I left the guns in your weapons locker. Best of luck. I don't remember which guns that is. I think it's the, I think it's specifically the ones with the N7 name. So like the Piranha and the Typhoon. Captain Fob from the Nuremberg. Not sh ah. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Captain Fob, and I grew up on Horizon before joining the military. You know what? You know, huh? Nothing about the oak. Don't worry about. It. You remember Horizon, right? We uh, sort of um, saved that colony from the collectors. It's the one okay. where the one where we met Ashley, and she get she chewed us out. Oh, when Ashley decided to be a bitch. Yeah, that was a long time ago, and I now have my own ship. But my family's home is still there, as is my family. If not for you, that would not be the case. My parents were trapped in stasis by the collectors and would have been hauled off if you hadn't intervened. My sister was even shoved into one of those filthy pods before being rescued. While I mourn for those we lost that day, my family was saved by you and the Normandy crew, and I'm grateful for that. How does a man repay such debt? I don't know, but should we meet, I'll find a way. And if we find ourselves on the same battlefield, I'll seek you out and find a way to pay back what is owed. I don't know what the future holds, but I speak for many of those you've fought for over the years. You have friends in many places, Shepard, and you can count on us to be there when you need us. Well, we know where we're going to claim that debt. <laughs> yeah. Glyph. An upgrade. Dear Commander Shepard, some of the data you found allowed me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office at your convenience, and you may choose how and when to implement it. Have a pleasant day. Oh, this are always nice. Yep. I don't remember who Glyph was. Info drone. Oh, okay. Then. Y it'll make more sense when we go back down to see Liara. Ah. ED. <clears throat> With your command of Normandy reinstated, I've compiled a list of Normandy's retrofits, including any issues that require your attention. Senior officers have resumed their duties, and additional Alliance staff are now assisting in daily operations. However, the Normandy remains without executive, gunnery, and marine officers. You may wish to appoint personnel to these positions at your convenience. Decks 1 and 2, ship management systems have been rerouted from the XO's office to the private terminals in your quarters and the CIC. From there, Normandy Manifest will allow you to direct operations for both the crew and ship itself. Specialist Trainer, assuming the role of a communications officer, was invaluable in establishing a QEC link with Spectre office on the Citadel, allowing you to securely access Spectre records from your private terminal. Deck 3, Dr. Tassoni has moved a significant amount of equipment into the XO's office and has resumed her duties as science officer. Dr. Chakwas has also reported for duty. You know, obviously that would be different if we chose Dr. Michelle. Makes sense. Deck 4, several upgrades were not installed prior to leaving Earth. As a result, Lieutenant Adams has installed a terminal in engineering allowing you to implement upgrades that enhance the Normandy's performance. Engineering is also severely understaffed needing engineers for both power and propulsion systems. Adams, if you don't remember, is the engineer on the original Normandy. Uh, so it's nice having him back. Yeah, I did not remember. <laughs> That's why I reminded you. Deck 5, Lieutenants Vega and Cortez have been assigned to the Armory. Cortez has installed terminals in the shuttle bay with supply links to the Citadel and the Alliance. And since one of the sh Normandy shuttles was destroyed on Mars, thanks Vega, you can requisition a secondary vehicle from the Alliance Terminal. Basically, I mean, the lead, you can the yeah. One. Basically, what this is going over is part of the um, Expanded Galaxy mod. Where we can uh, assign people to different positions and unlock a bunch of stuff on the ship. Cool. Not all of which I know it does. <coughs> okay. From Liara. A new sniper rifle. A few weeks ago, I found an interesting schematic for a fully automatic sniper rifle called Deendra. Basically, this is her saying, have fun. <laughs> My favorite gun. <laughs> Lieutenant Vega, a shotgun, talking about the AT-12 Raider. And XO, Lieutenant Vega, XO Facility Specialist. Okay. We left Earth in such a hurry, we forgot to bring a cook with us, and I'm getting bored with Esteban's cooking. I asked around and found a couple of civilian volunteers who could ha help out. Their info's in the crew manifest. Okay. So let's take a look, shall we? Crew manifest. Uh, 
View non-crew specialists. We have no additional squad available. So... So which position is the cook? <laughs> I don't know. It might not show that for right now for some reason. Mm. But yeah, uh, Armory Lieutenant Cortez, Armory Lieutenant Vega, Shuttle Pilot Lieutenant Cortez. He even shows a service record. Nice. He's a licensed pilot for several fighters and uh, shuttles. He was a squadron leader on the SSV Hawking. He's, and he did a whole bunch of other shit. Leading up to being uh, the refit officer and shuttle pilot on the SR2. Nice, but can you replace yourself as commander? Why would you? <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> Same way you can't. I can't replace chief engineer, chief medical officer, supply officer, comm yeah, specialist. I guess it's supposed to like major roles rather than yeah. the junior vehicles officers. and other equipment. Secondary vehicle, we have none available. Right. Oh, well. so let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Yay! Actually, finally meet this Cortez. Yeah, might be useful, you know. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when is left Earth. <laughs> Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also <laughs> responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. <laughs> What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Rip. Yeah. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Basically, it's a stealth helicopter. <laughs> Sounds so out right. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them. Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Ouch. <laughs> Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. I guess I'm not doing exercise tonight. <laughs> don't hurt yourself there. And speaking of the yeah, armory... 
Gun. Guns, 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 guns. Level 5 Carnifex Phalanx Vindic. <coughs> uh, 4. Yeah, these, these are all kind of upgraded. Sounds like you'd have a Tulisi mode a good portion of the game. Uh, maybe. Nothing else is going to help me carry more guns into the field. Yeah. Not right, because they're probably like lighter and stuff. Huh? Yeah, lighter, deal more damage, that kind of stuff. And probably the single most important thing in this box. <laughs> I mean, to the mission so. <laughs> At the bottom of the case is a battered and damaged N7 helmet. Yep. Single most important thing in the box. Look at all the guns! You know what's funny? Oh, yes. mm -hmm. This is not a part of the original Normandy. Like, huh. like, this is part of the mod. That's very well done. Yeah, like, you wouldn't even know, tell the difference. Half of the stuff you see in here, like the racks and stuff, not a part of it. Hmm. Vega and his little manhole over here, though, is. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the castle? Fuck good, that's how. Same as usual. Uh, we got some middle. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch and Paladin. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. You down here for a reason? What's funny is if you wait long and uh, a while before coming down to talk to him, he gets more and more snide, uh, depending on how long you wait. <clears throat> coming up to, uh, you take a wrong turn at the elevator or something? I thought you didn't care. <clears throat> Just came down to talk. Great. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Well, I was in lockup. And then things kind of went to shit. <laughs> think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <coughs> was? Died with most of my squad, protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. The intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You're a shrink, too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. 
Hey, thanks for the dance, Loco. <laughs> Loco, huh? <laughs> I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. Nice. James is a pretty good one. Yeah. More guns! Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Engineering deck. This is where Zaid used to hang out. Now, it's a reporter's haven. So I see. That's a lot of images. That's a new assignment working out, Allers. Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air restored. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. That's a bold claim. <laughs> yeah. And that door is shut. Hmm. Which means there's probably going to be a room or something. We don't have our other two engineers. Oh. Sad face. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge <laughs> of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, is that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back. I'm sorry for that. Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. I think we covered most of his backstory uh, in the first game, so let's focus on the new stuff. Like Edie! Yeah. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw it through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her peg, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizant's processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Yes, because trying to cut off an AI without it noticing is an easy task. I mean, really, it wasn't. Stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive cord has been completely overhauled. The SR2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. <laughs> Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with psychological. Like Sounds like all right. Should help yep. reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means we should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a yeah. marvel. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> I like the, and that means, it's like you're speaking Greek over here. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering upgrades. 
So what can we do? We've already got these. Yes. These are these are the ones that uh, we bought and for the suicide mission. Um, so we basically just keep those. Yeah. Board. That is the um, couplings we bought uh, at the request of the engineers in the previous game. Uh, so let's see what else we can get here. Helios thruster module, better fuel efficiency and capacity. Like we can afford it. Which we probably could have bought in the previous game. Argus planetary scanner, which we also could have bought in the previous game. Uh, yeah, might have been a good idea. Probably. Shooting range! Oh, well. So, we can test our guns on Normandy. Why not? A mech bay. <laughs> I have no idea what, what that even, how that even benefits us. Each? Sounds like we should get it. Both VI driven and maintained. See, that's what makes me really wonder, like... Can I, like, deploy these in the field or something? Well, it says added to the shuttle bay. So maybe, yeah. Purchase. Oh, no shooting range? I mean, yeah, sure, why not. I think there's ways to get more uh, We do have a few new weapons after all. Yeah, but most of them were from the previous game, so we sort of know how they work already. Yeah, kinda. Crew deck! Even though... There's really only a couple people here. Hmm. Also, this. There's some names we know on that. Charles Presley. Caden Alenko, Richard Jenkins. Is that the memorial? Yeah, it's the memorial. Ouch. It's probably gonna get longer before we're done here, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Fat oof. Yep. from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% oh. of the time. <laughs> if you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like point. to speak with you. Mm -hmm. Have a pleasant day. It was less than ideal. At I'm least the Council can't please. deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I think. Of course, Joker. Yeah, this <laughs> one we actually get because we did that DLC where she becomes a Shadow Broker. Nice. Because this is from Farron, you know, her friend that we saved. Uh, if we don't do the DLC, she still storms the castle and becomes a Shadow Broker, but he's dead. I see. So we can get ammo bonus or shield bonus. Like that's even a question. Uh -huh. <laughs> Intel and cybernetics, well, that's stuff for later. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came, 
If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Miguel. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Oof. And hey, that one's blinking. This terminal <coughs> contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Protean notes, 2171 to 2185. This is literally Liara's notes. Hmm. University of Ceres agreed to sponsor her for a protein dig on Draytrop. Blah, blah, blah. More stuff about fawning over archaeology. I'm going on the Therum expedition. Oh, boy. That's where we found her. Yep. Met Shepard. And 2185. Reviewed old Shadow Broker footage of the Collectors. It's chilling to know that they're the Protheans' husks. At least nothing sentient could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. Message from Farron to, to the Broker. <clears throat> Made contact with, contact with Tazik yesterday. The look on his face was priceless. He's not happy you put me in charge of scouting the Terminus systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable, and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of material for long if things get worse. Some of the other operatives think we should cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them, when did the odds ever stop the broker? P.S. I hope you finally got our little friend Droney to stop saying shadow and broker out loud in the same sentence to anyone in sight. <laughs> Well, I guess she finally did. Yeah. Ava Corey Research. In other words, research on the damn mech that we just fought on Mars. Yeah. Basically, what this is all saying is it's remarkably similar to Edie, which isn't surprising since they're both Cerberus AI. Mm -hmm. Except it's built entirely around mem memory emulation, as if it was intended to draw upon implanted memory. That's worrying. Edie claims that, that much of the code, that much of it matches code that the elusive man wrote himself. I'm beginning to suspect that there's much more to the name Ava Corre than just a cover. Mm hmm. Can't wait to dig up more of that, huh? Yep. And there's Dr. Chakwas. She doesn't really have anything important to say right now, I don't think. Oh, okay. Let's find out. Commander? Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel at this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. <laughs> I'll see you around. Shots Doctor. fired. Take care, Shepard. In more ways than one. Yeah. And that's the case if I want to if I want to respec. Huh. And there's no. that thing. Hey, Edie. Uh, oh, she does not have much to say. That is where we can do bonus powers, but we haven't really unlocked any new ones. And in case you're curious, no, there's no loyalty missions this time. Uh, okay. Anything over here? No. I think Kasumi used to hang out here. Uh -huh. Hey, that is a poker table. Mm. I'd say that's an upgrade. Sort of. 
Yeah, I don't know. I like this only. Yeah, I was like, sort of. And then observation, pretty much looks the exact same, just with some couches. Sounds okay. And one last person to chat too. Joker. Yay! Best helmsman in the alliance. That's uh, one for it. Oh, there's AD some more. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old times' sake. <laughs> Oh yeah, because you know you could do that in the first game. Ah, uh, good times. Ah, uh, you're good. Never change. Uh, right. All right. We still need to talk to her too. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Yeah. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay. Yeah, you're on your own with that. <laughs> In any event, I appreciate <laughs> Six thousand you credit to toothbrush. Was there anything else? Carry on. Yeah, I mean, we did just spend about several times more than that. But I, I ran, if I remember, if, if I remember what we just did correctly, that toothbrush costs as much as the firing range. Yup. <laughs> right. So I think that's everything. So the next step, step it would be heading over to Palavan and extracting a Turian Primark. Mm -hmm. And laying the groundwork, hopefully. But we all know it's yeah. not going to be that simple. Oh, of course. But yeah, she might just be the first person to combine combine Shepard, not to help. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's pretty much... Anywho, next time, yep. Palavan. Goodbye.